Hi, and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers in the middle of the woods. And I've just had an awful experience. If you want to see what's just happened, you're going to have to watch right to the end of the video. And I will put you the clips of what, what has just happened down there. It was horrendous. I was genuinely scared. Like, really scared for my own safety. But I'll put it in at the end of the video. I was probably just being a girl, to be fair. But this place looks amazing. Oh, this place looks so good. It's huge. It's absolutely massive. I haven't worked out a way to get in yet other than that massive window. And it's a bit dodgy. Because you've got down to the cellar down there. The only way to get in is to balance on that. I don't know how strong it is based on the fact that the other ones have already fallen off. So I'm just going to have to go for it, I think. Right, I'm in. And you know what? I'm in France again. And you know what happened last time I were in France? That scared me coming through there. One slip and I would have gone straight down. Down those stairs towards the cellar. That would have been horrendous. I would have definitely broke a leg at least. And then coming in, this behind me was snapping. And I got my face over the top of a nail. If it had snapped, I would have just been stabbed through the face with a big fat nail. Anyway, look in here. Now it's massively deteriorating, including the floor, which is worrying me a little bit. But some of the features in here that I've seen, I, I'm not even showing you in the other room yet. But some of these features, like look at that fireplace. That is so chunky and so nice. Got the old lamps on there. I know it's, <laughs> they've, <laughs> they've put um, like the energy saving light bulbs on there. But look. Got the little bit that came out. The Victorians used to put things all over the place where smells could disperse. If you go into a lot of the London parks and some towns and cities, you'll see like a Victorian up pipe, like a pipe with like maybe something fancy on the top. And it was to get rid of the smells from things like sewage and all sorts of different things. And you don't notice them, you don't really think about what it could be, but that's what they are. And if you look on a lot of things like fires and toilet systems in Victorian houses, I know it wouldn't have been Victorian over here in France, but that era, yeah, if you look at some of those, you can see where they've done the same sort of thing. Now it's quite hard to, for you to see how big it is in here. Look at that. I'm going to say chaise lounge, but it's not, is it? Chaise lounge has only got one end. This floor is worrying. Massively worrying. Because it's soft. And I'm scared. But I think there might be normal floorboards or something else underneath it. So I'm not overly concerned, but it is dodgy. Now, I don't often... You know what? If those doors are open and I've just climbed through that window... Oh, no, the shutters are shut outside. But yeah, uh, I know I don't often come to places where it's really starting to fall to pieces. But when there's things to make up for it, like, for example, look at this piece of furniture. That is not new by any shape of the imagination. Look at that. In fact, I would say that's really, really old. Look at the, the metal bits on it there. I think it's quite old, that. There's been something blocked up there. And then you've got the books. Now, I know some of you aren't as keen on the foreign explorers. Hey, up. That's like the Nazi eagle. But I suppose it's come down through history anyway. What's this, then? Different places in Germany? That's what it looks like to me. Different structures in Germany. Yeah, it's just a guess. But they all look like German names to me. Different places. I should probably just look at the beginning of the book and see what it says. That would probably help. Not that I speak any German, really. I know a bit of Italian and a bit of Spanish. Yeah, that's definitely German though, isn't it? 
die. Couldn't I smile about it? There's candles burn. Now that, I wonder if it's about the place burn. It's actually, that's, that's not Germany, is it? Burn. Is it like Austria or Switzerland? But, when, I think, oh, 1952. When, when you read German, like it, that could just mean like the beautiful city of Bern. And it just sounds so aggressive. It really does. Now, like I was saying, I know not everybody loves the European Expos. I do. I really enjoy them because I love going and seeing different places. Like today, I've travelled over the Alps from Italy into France. Is Bern France? I can't think. I can't think where Bern is. It's one of those funny ones that you think it's from one place and then it's from somewhere else. But I love seeing different things i i love the cottages and the houses in, in england and scotland but it's a lot of the same stuff in the places so i want to come and see something different it's exciting that doesn't mean i'm going to stop doing the houses in england there's just not many about at the moment but i love it because i can i don't know it's a bit romantic it's like i romanticize about these places it's like i don't know think about little Frenchman in the, I feel like I'm being xenophobic here, but like little Frenchmen, like being butlers to the big lord here. I don't know what it would be classed as. It's, it's not a chateau, it's like a big house. But there's definitely some stuff that's not being cheap. I can hear one of those things making a noise. Just a minute ago, there were loads of like crickets or something outside. Oh, and he's, through that broken window, I can hear it. But yeah, like the beefy, big, thick wooden chair there. I don't think that would have been cheap either. Oh, what else? That's Schweinzer house. I want, that is def, oh look. They're all stuck in. I wonder if uh, it was a German that lived here or an Austrian, because I think they're quite similar, aren't they? Yeah, look. And that is, that's definitely G German, because nicked, isn't that, is that night? I can't remember. I, I think I always say it's night and it's something else. I don't know. That's weird. De Gross, Reader's Digest. <laughs> it just seems a bit weird that it's in German and then English. Now, I don't know if you can see, but I am absolutely sweating. It was 38 degrees today. And then we've had a massive thunderstorm coming over the Alps. And it seems to have cool. it stopped again now, but it's still boiling. Now, a good sign to see if this is actual marble is if it's freezing, which it is. And on a boiling day like today, oh, look at the mummified spiders. I've stopped seeing those. Oh, there's a real one there as well. Oh, they're all real. I've stopped seeing the mummified spiders in England, but there seem to be a few here. And there are loads of books up there. Right, I'll take you into the... Look at that. I don't know, just little things like that. That table sort of semi-set up there with the plates on it and the salt and the pepper and the little glasses set out. That on my bag, that just makes me think of what was happening the day that they never came back. Like, was it one person living here? But why would I have the table set for all these people? Now, there's a kitchen in there, but we're going in here next. Look at that piece of furniture on the ceilings as well. There's something about this room. It's very, even though it's dark in here, it's very light and airy. With the decorations around the top as well. But look at this. What an unusual piece of furniture that is. It almost feels like, I didn't know, I thought there were stairs there. It almost feels like a reception. Like it should be a hotel or something. Maybe it's just a drinks cabinet. I don't know. And then another hefty fireplace made out of marble by the looks of things or something similar to marble. It is cold. Um, I never know when it's like redstone and things like that, if it's still classed as marble or if it's something different. I don't know. Oh, this is good. Look at this. So that's... A candlestick but it's got like a honey honeycomb candle 
like honey wax candle. I used to love the smell of those things. My sister used to get them all the time before I started hating you know. her. But there's another one there, but they put these on top, which I don't really know why, because it sort of doesn't make sense because you're not going to light it with that on top. That's why I took it off because I thought, oh, is it like got an electric fitting on it? It's not real, but it isn't. It's, it's real, it's real um, wax, which is really cool. I don't know what's in, I don't know if this is just like a little room under the stairs or something. Oh no, it goes through to a bedroom. We'll come back to that in a minute. Because I want to, I just, I don't know why, I just want to go this way first. Look at the little old phone as well. I suppose it's not that old. Because it's not got the spinny round thing on, so maybe 90s. 80s, 90s. But, I don't know, it just all is very much the French style, isn't it? With the big interior doors like that, the lots of settees and little side cabinets and stuff. I just love it. I love this, the feeling of this building. It's really good. Oh, you are kidding me. <laughs> At least I haven't got to climb back out again. <laughs> it's wide open. I didn't come round this side though, because I came from a totally different direction. Oh, what's that? Is that a caravan? Oh, well, I'll, we'll come and have a look out here when we go then. What's that up there? Oh, it's like a coat of arms, look. It's got two lions. Two lions rampant. I thought it were um, poodles, at <laughs> poodles at first. I don't actually know if we can get anywhere that way. So I might end up having to go out the window. But there might be something down there to look at. But we'll find out in a bit. These big... Blue and gold doors make me think of the TARDIS out of Doctor Who. I'm not a big Doctor Who like buff or fan or anything, but that's just what it makes me think of. I used to watch it as a kid. I wonder if it works. No. <laughs> but I do like the idea of a big doorbell going, oh, these stairs are a bit weird, aren't they? I expected them to have really grand stairs in here. But, oh, oh. Just a minute. Oh, that were horrible. I had cobwebs on my face and I pulled it with one hand and it was coming from that up my nose. I had to pull it out of my nose. There were loads of it. Now it looks like they've started to do it up in here or tried to, because look, there's, is that a bag of plaster? Looks like it. Mortier adhesive. That's what it looks like to me. <sighs> It doesn't look like they've done very much. I don't know if this fireplace is original or not. Well, I think, bloody hell. What is that? What the hell is that? Why does it look like it's got hoover fittings on it? Or exhaust pipes? What the, <laughs> what the hell is up with that fire? I feel what this is like. Oh yeah. I don't know if it is stone that. Doesn't sound like stone. I don't know if it's like, I don't know. I want to say alabaster, but then I think alabaster's probably not like that either. But yeah, that's a weird fire. It's either got an exhaust pipe on it or hoovers. It's very strange. But yeah, there's, there's all sorts of junk just thrown about in here. So. Whoa! What the f where are you? Can you stop? Just, just go out. No. <laughs> Can you stop? Thank you. Could you not have just done that to start with? Now, somebody was saying about black mould earlier on. Don't go anywhere with black mould. I don't think there's much in here, so we're all right. <laughs> Look at that. That is some hefty black mould. There'll be somebody in the comments going, oh, Matt. Nah, you shouldn't be getting it in your lungs. Right, I've got enough in there already, don't worry. <laughs> Over the years I've been doing this. If I'm going to die from it, I'm going to die from it, don't worry. But I look at the sweat running down my head. Not that you can really see it. Oh, and this is a, a bedroom. Look, oh, that scared me. Out the corner of my eye, I saw some shoes and a jumper. And I, thought, I thought there was somebody sat in here then. That would have been awful, there would have just a dead body in here. Second basement. 
That's not what I would have expected them to wear. Although the French have got a very odd dress sense, I think. I feel like they almost do try and copy the Americans a little bit, the French, but in a very weird way. But, but that bed, although it's broken, is pretty cool. How low is that? It's ex you're not going to get anyone hiding underneath there, are you? That's so low. But it's a bit like, it reminds me of a chaise lounge. I'm just zooming out a bit, look. It's like a chaise lounge, but a bed. Um, but bigger. I suppose... It's not a sleigh bed, though, is it? I wouldn't think. Because... Because a sleigh bed has got, like, rolled over ends. So... I'm not sure, but it's cool. I like it. Definitely looks French. I don't know why. Even when I turned around then, that still freaked me out. Even though I know it's not a person. And then we've got another... Big fireplace here. I feel like these ones aren't real though. Just don't feel quite right. Oh, look at the writing in this. Oh, if there's any German speakers out there, I'd love to know what it says. It's almost like a a play. It's Das Frau, Das Baron. Das Frau, Das Baron. It is, it's like a play. Something, Papa. Nunu, Finn Wild, Finn Wild. Bobbin, <laughs> Lift, Duvo, Was, Voller, Das, Baby. <laughs> oh my God, I'm bad enough at reading as it is. So reading foreign languages is probably not the best idea, especially one that I don't understand. Like I said, German, I think you can work out a bit because it's very similar to English. A lot of the words are, are quite similar, but... I know Spanish and I know Italian bits. I don't know German at all. Now it seems like she was potentially, I'm guessing it's a she, I don't know actually. Is that a man's jumper or a woman's? They look like men's shoes, but I can't see a, a bloke wearing that. Oh, I don't know. I say, so whether it be a man or a woman, they've been moved down here for ease of access like it is in most of the places. Little ironing board there. Look at this. This has been. This has come from like a, a barber's or a hairdresser's look, and they'll have been using it with the little trays in there for maybe the food and things. But yeah, that's what it originally started out as by the looks. Look at the size of these doors, though. And just to give you an idea, watch. Wait a minute. Look at that. It's massive. Absolutely massive. I'm six foot, and it's got to be. 10 foot, 11 foot tall. I am so sweaty. I am, look at the sweat on me. I'm absolutely, horrendously sweaty. Oh, I'm excited to go upstairs in this place, to be fair. I hate it when people, I don't know why they do it. Get clothes out of cupboards and just throw them on the floor. I suppose they've been going, rifling through pockets and things. Oh. This room we're coming to in a minute, there's something bizarre in it. Not in here. This is just a toilet that's had rats in it. That bath is tiny. A little tiny bath. Oh, don't even want to look in there. He says as he leans forward and looks in. No, it's this next bedroom. Look at this. Not bedroom, bathroom. Look. Look at this bath. I'm guessing this is like a... A mobility thing, like maybe you sit on there and then when you've done it tips forward or something. That is really unusual. I don't think I've seen one like that before. I, I could imagine them being in hospitals, but I'm guessing that's what happens. Maybe you pull this or this handle and the whole thing sort of sits up. And then it's easier for them to get out. But that shower looks quite new, you know. I wonder if they just fitted it and then whoever it was that lived here died. I don't know. But that piece of kit must wor be worth quite a lot of money, you know. It's not something you can just go and get from B&Q or somewhere, is it? And you get your washing machine. That old fire... This, I think this building is quite old, you know, because that's a really old style of fireplace with the big 
sort of awning bit, awning's probably the wrong word, but the bit that hangs over the top, but bizarre. I, I literally, I don't think I've ever seen any, anything like that outside of a hospital. Now I thought that was the end of it until I just looked behind. There's a big wardrobe here, randomly. Where does this even go? Or is it just come to an end? Oh, it smells a bit like we in here. Bit of a pissy smell. Yeah, it's just cupboard space, isn't it? It's weird because it's quite, it's a, a decent sized room that they've made tiny. Oh, Andy would have some good times in that, wouldn't he? <laughs> Imagine him sticking that on and dancing round. I had a bit of an emotional moment earlier on. I've been listening to like 80s music and that's always what me and Andy used to listen to in the car. And I was going through the Alps and I just proper broke down, not the car, me. <laughs> because I was like, Andy would love this. Andy would absolutely love it. Please, please, please comment down below. We love you, Andy, or something similar. Because he reads everything. He's still massively involved. He, he keeps an eye on everything. So just do it, do it for me. And it'll make me very happy. And I think it'll make him happy as well. But one thing I would like to ask is please stop putting pressure on him to come back. Because obviously he's going through what he's going through at the moment, which is not nice. Is that where we've just come from? Yeah. Um, and then to be saying, oh, Andy, you need to hurry up and come back. It's just not, not on. Oh, this is, is this the other end of the room we started off in? Yeah, it is. I don't think I even noticed this door. <laughs> I was so eager to get to that piece of furniture I'd seen. I just walked straight past this door and didn't even realise it was there. What the hell is going on here? What is happening? Oh. Oh. I thought it went down to the cellar. But it's just down to a big tank. But there's a quite old looking like drop hatch. Which is weird. Look under here as well. Oh, I can't open it. The old sort of, like, I don't, they're not flagged. It's not flagged, but it's like stone cobble floor, which is weird. And then the detailing on these banister poles is really good. I love stuff. I know it's stupid, but that makes a difference. If it just looked like this all the way up, I just wouldn't be impressed. But that just makes it like, Special. I genuinely think it might be me, the special. I don't know why things like that really please me, but they do. It's just, I don't know. It's, it's that old style of extra effort and not just extra, like, because you can get a lot of new houses these days that have things, but they're done cheap. They're done nasty and not looked after properly like it's just a bit of plaster or plastic or something these are good quality things that are in this house the workmanship on like stuff you can just tell the difference and that's why i like going around big houses people are always like oh right this week can you do a mansion please <laughs> it's not like we can just look in a book and go okay right we'll do this mansion it's when they pop up we can't do anything about it we, we have to go to where we go to. Look at that lamp up there as well. With the horrible energy saving light bulb in it. Uh, right. Let's make it. I just, these stairs don't go. They're too small. For a decent sized house, they seem too small. Although, even though it is big, like we've only had one main room this room here and then a couple of oh another one there and another smaller one there so four rooms and then some little rooms so it's not massive but it's not tiny either like that room in there is huge let's just quickly go back through before we go upstairs look that is that is a big long room it is huge actually as well there's this kitchen we never looked in. Let's go in here before we go upstairs. I did say we would come back. Oh, see, this is a good size. I don't really like the stuff that's in here, but 
the kit in itself yeah, it's so awkward because there's stuff everywhere but yeah the the drawers and everything are awful and the floor's been redone and that's not very nice either but this fire once again another old style fire that you can see has been used over years with the black on the top of there and the smoke that's run up there as well from the fire. I wonder what used to be there. That's weird. Now, I want to ask a question about that. What would you call that? I know Americans would call it something stupid because you'll not be able to say it, but do you say Worcestershire sauce? Well, actually, I can't say <laughs> Is that typical of what? I just like proper ripped it out of the Americans and then butchered the word. <laughs> Worcestershire sauce or do you just call it Worcester sauce? I call it Worcester I've always called it Worcester sauce. Everyone I know calls it Worcester sauce. Who calls it Worcestershire sauce? I don't get me wrong, it is a word that's really hard to get your tongue round. Maybe that's why people call it Worcester sauce. I can't even say that. I'm gonna give up. I'm gonna shut up. I'm not saying you know what I can smell in here? Really strong. I don't know where the smell's coming from. Look at those corks. Um, cloves. I can smell cloves really, really strong. I've got Gaviscon. Some up for your, your tummy. Zinc, Solba. Tea tree oil. Are these all things for dodgy, dodgy tummies? Magnesium, calcium, D3, direct. Hmm. No, it must have been the other room that smelled like, um, Cloves, because I can't smell it in here. Must have been this kitchen. Somewhere in here is some cloves, because I can smell it really strong. Oh, there's another door there. That's quite a weird looking door. Why has that got this bit here? Oh, does that pull this at this end? Oh, I get it. And there'll be a handle in the middle. And then the big bolts at the side as well. Uh, I think that's probably quite an old door. That there, original. Now the thing is, I don't actually know anything about this place. It's been dubbed the Millionaire's Mansion. But other than that, and you know I hate names. I hate it when people call it Annie's House or Millionaire's Mansion. And nine times out of ten, they've made after stuff up, or they'll find a letter that says, Dear Annie, and then they'll call it Annie's house. Or they'll find three bottles of oil and they'll, go, they'll call it the oil house. It's just stupid. Oh, look at this. This is really good. Wait a minute. This is old. Big old jelly mould. Those things, I don't know if they still have held the value. Those things used to go for a fortune. Like the old ones, not new ones, the old ones like this. Used to sell for a fortune. A lot of people used to hang them up like that on the wall. Um, but they're really cool. I wouldn't have them in my house, but they're really cool. Um, why is there a... So that's a, a pair. Don't know what that is. Another pair. I don't know what these are, but why is there a D there? I feel like that's there for a reason. I don't know why. But yeah, I think my mum would like that. Although I feel like it's really dirty. Because you didn't always put, like, jelly like, like Jello if you're American. Or jelly if you're anybody else. You didn't always put normal stuff in there. You could have had things like... Fish. Now, it's not got a picture of fish on the outside, but they used to do like fishing jelly and fishing other stuff. Or you'd get fruit. That's what I think that is. They put gelatine and all different fruit in there. Not jelly like we know, the flavoured jelly. Just like plain stuff. And you'd even get vegetables and things like that put in them, which is vile. Absolutely vile. But a lot of old recipes, if you look in recipe books, they had things like that. And they used to put all sorts of weird stuff in them, in like gelatine and stuff. 
Certainly not my thing, but I do like that jelly mold. Although I don't think I'd eat anything that came out of that. I don't think I would at all. Look at all the stuff down here though. There's like a fan, but it don't come from here. Unless they've bought that to replace what was in here before. You've got part of the old guy's last wheelchair that obviously blew up. And <laughs> all sorts of stuff. Oh, that's to go on his knee, look, when he was eating his tea. That there is to teach his wife a lesson when she's been a naughty girl. Ugh, that's a fucking bird, not a moth. Ugh, ugh, fuck off. Don't you start. English moths are bad enough. Fucking French ones are like fucking ugh, pterodactyls. Oh, Jesus Christ, where have you gone? Don't you come near me, man. That is the biggest moth I have ever seen in my life. That is ridiculous. I've had enough winged things so far tonight, but if you watch to the end of the video, you'll see. If you want to see me throw my torch in fear, then watch to the end, because trust me, I've been an absolute girl. Right, now we've got a bat with no working sonar. What the hell? This bat's gone mental. It's just flying into things. Bats don't fly into things. And now it's on the floor. Down there. It might have gone down a hole, I think, actually. Maybe it meant to go down there. Oh no, it's sat there, look, on the floor. I think it's poorly. I don't want to disturb it. Look. Oh, poor thing, it's hurt itself. I can't help it though. I can't pick it up. You're not supposed to even touch them, are you? And I don't want to upset it, so I want to leave it alone. It's not the same one we saw earlier on, because that were fine. That were flying around like a madman. But that one just didn't know where he were going. Anyway, let's head up the stairs. I hope you're all right, little man. I feel bad on you now, look. He just laid there, not moving. Poor thing. Oh, that's ruined my night. I love bats. Even though they scare me when they're flying towards my face. That's the thing, that's what it is. I don't think bats are going to bite me, and I don't think moths are going to bite me, or hurt me in any way. But I just don't want to fly towards my face. And my daughter, my oldest daughter, Katie, she hates butterflies. She hates moths she hates anything with wings that flies near her she's got a proper fear about them so i wonder if it's come from me now this place is bigger than i thought because it goes up again but i've just had a weird noise up there it's probably whoa, whoa. i'm gonna say it's probably more bats and then as i'm about to say it they just all appeared as if by magic oh bloody hell stay away from my face There's loads of them in here. I hope they go and look after their mate downstairs. Right, we'll leave that one in there and go this way instead. I don't know what's up here. I don't know if all of these rooms upstairs are empty or not. Oh, this is a weird room. Because it's like, I felt like it was a bathroom, but then there's no fittings for anything else. I suppose it could just be a, a little sink for a little bedroom. I suppose that makes sense. Look at this wallpaper though. I don't, that's the other thing about being abroad. I find it hard sometimes to age things. Cause like we look at the seventies and it'd be one way in France. They probably would like putting it up last week. So it's hard to know. Now I've just put my hand on this wallpaper and it is so soft, so ridiculously soft. It's not like normal wallpaper. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's lovely. Like the, the actual wallpaper's horrendous, but it's lovely, lovely feel to it. Right, let's keep going down here before bat attack happens. We're just gonna come down here and fucking Batman's gonna be here. Oh, I thought that were him then wrapped up in that thing in the end. Oh, this is weird. All the other doors are massive, but this one's really small. I wonder if this was for servants or something in here. It 
all feels a bit weird. God, how many mattresses do you need? Oh, now this is a weird one, because that's hand painted, but then you've got all the, what look like nursery rhymes or something like that around the top, which is very odd. And then, but then looking at that, you'd think child's bedroom, but looking at that bed, I don't know. Maybe it was just because the girl had got a bit older and they'd not redecorated or something. Not sure. But the, imagine this, opening this window up. Not going to. Looking out at nothing. <laughs> Looking out into the garden on a summer's day. Must have been brill if you were a kid. Look at that weird wall though. And it's all hand painted. You can see it, you can see it when you close up to it. It's definitely hand painted. Which is really, really strange. Really strange. I just heard something. I heard a noise like a Someone's here. I can't hear anything else. Look at this. I feel like I could be quiet now. Look at that wallpaper. That's mad. I feel like that's hand painted, you know. Looking at that. That reminds me a bit of like Coco Chanel stuff. In our mansion, all the hand painted stuff. Oh my God. Look at it in here. Look at the, let me zoom you out. What is happening here? I've got cobwebs on my camera just a minute. <laughs> That's better, it's gone now. Yeah, look at it in here. Wow. This place is, Unbelievable. What a weird wardrobe that is. What have we got here, look? I don't know. I don't know. That is. Why has that person got no head? This is all very strange. It's got a name in the front. Look. It's a weird looking book. Almost looks a bit demonic. 1919, look. What's it called? Zuchversagen. Wow. That looks like an odd book. I'd like to know what that's about. Feel free to tell me down in the comments. This is that wallpaper as well, look. Get it up here, look. That very much looks hand painted to me. Look how strong, like vivid the colours are. The blues and the yellows and the pinks. It's brown. Now, I don't know if it is. Like, let me work something out. I know this is a weird way of doing it. We've got. On that first bit, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven strokes. Uh, let's find another one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where does that last one finish? No, they're not the same. They're not in the same place. It is, it's hand painted. They're not quite the same. Because that's what you'd look for to see if everything is like regimented and exactly the same, but it's not. So, that's very, very weird. Well, very, very good, high quality. But that bed, it's another one of these ones that's really low, but I feel like that one is a bit like a, a sleigh bed with the turned over bit at the end. But this room's just so impressive. The little books on here as well. Precious stones. 
Dai Zahante Muse and Erste Band. What that's about? Oh, is it something to do with is it music or carols or something? I don't know. I always like these ones that are bound because these are usually really old when they're bound like this. Let's see if I can see a date on it. I have a feeling this one will be 1800 and something. But look at the sweat and dirt on me, it's disgusting. Oh no, 1918 again. So I was wrong with that. Very strange. Ooh. Oh, it's st this special stones, isn't it, and things. Yeah. So they've obviously got a bit of a, a thing for stones. And I don't mean the dodgy lager from the 1980s made in Sheffield. Although I think stones might have been bitter, not lager. Oh, look at that. That's lovely. I don't know if you'll see it the same as I'm seeing it. It's got like... It's got decoration on the back. Obviously, the mirror would have been in that side at some point. That could be cleaned up and made to be lovely. New piece of glass fitted in it. It's very light. Very, very light. But yeah, look, I just love this room. I don't know why. Oh, let me have a look at the little clock on here as well. I like that bit of furniture, me. It's totally useless. It's like the only thing you can do with it is put something like that on top. Which they're quite new and tacky. But, oh, look. Is that the old wallpaper that was there before, look? Underneath. Oh, I don't know what you prefer. Quite like that. I know this is quite garish, but I sort of like that as well. What a shame that it's all coming off. Real shame. And then a little chandelier up there, but you can see all the damp and everything coming through the ceilings. It's not good. Right. I don't want to go back out of this room because I like it in here, but we, we kind of need to. I'm a bit wary walking down here because I know that the bats were flying round. Oh, look in here as well, though. Look at that bed. Oh, it's a bit broken. Oh, and I like these as well. They're like, it just makes me think of somebody sitting next to a window, having their book or something in there, look. Just pulling it out and have a read while they're sat looking out of the window. I don't know why I like it. But I do. And this as well, all the handles have been taken off that for some reason. I don't know if there's anything in it. Oh, and a single yellow flower on the bed. That's all a bit weird, isn't it? Ah, oh, I don't think, it, now I've seen it, I don't think it's original, but I thought it was like an old style um, sink. Because they used to have like standalone sinks like that. And you bring your big thing of water, your, like your jug of water, and pour it in um, from like the fire. You'd fill it up in your kettle and stuff. Look at that though. That's the old original thing to hold. That would make it secure, the building secure. Because I'm guessing we're above the front door because this is like a big, the big bit when you walk out the door. Not the words have gone, it's too late for normal words. But that would have been the original thing to support the building, support the door and everything. That's really cool. You got some more black mould there. Now I would normally climb out, but there's not really anything to see that we can't see from study here. And also, I don't know how good that floor is with it being covered in uh, moss. So I am being sensible. Like you always say, oh, if you've got Andy with you, you'd be a lot safer. I used to be a lot worse. Than I used to put my life at risk constantly when Andy was there. But when he's not here, I'm not as bad. So actually, you're totally wrong. You've got it the wrong way around. Andy would try and calm me down, but knew deep down I wouldn't listen to a word he said. And actually, if he said don't do it, I was more likely to do it. Yeah, if you look, it's all matching as well. We've got the sort of like mustardy colour going across all the little fixtures and fittings. It's really good. They definitely like the books though. Because there's loads of them. In every room there's at least a, a couple of books. And a big fireplace there. 
Right, let's go on to the back, back cave. I wonder if these wooden beams are original. I don't think they are, because I don't feel like this wall. Mm. No, I don't think that wall's real. I think that's been added later. Is that? Oh yeah, that's that little room. So I wonder if this was all open plan at one point. Not sure. Anyway. Oh God, I feel like we're just gonna get attacked now. Any second. Well, they don't attack you, but they just flutter around. Oh no, they're not in here. They've gone. Wow, this is weird. Not only have you got part of a ski lake streak, but you've got what looks like it was a bathroom at one point. Maybe you'd have had your bath there, although that's weird as well. Just look, there's an electric point there, an electric point there, a fireplace there, and then a sink and a cabinet. Oh, I wonder if it was a bedroom. I get it in my head. As soon as I see a sink in a room, oh, it must have been a bathroom. Especially with cabinets like that. But it's almost like, it's not an ensuite, because that I always think of as an ensuite as a separate room. Like with your shower, your sink, your bath, the toilet. It's just a sink in your bedroom. And a lot of people used to do that. But in my head, it doesn't equate to the same thing. Oh God, you go first in here. Because I just feel like they're going to get us. And I don't want them to get us. Look at that green toilet. Just sat there on its own. I didn't expect it to be with its mates. Oh, look. Oh, now I'm confused. Look at this. Where are we here then? Bloody hell. I don't know where I am. I want to be careful with this floor though, especially near that edge. Is this where I came in? If I look down here, yes it is. So that's the bit there that I climbed along and the cellar stairs is there as well. And that lamp we were looking at. Whoa, that bat were coming on the upstairs windows. It is a big building actually. Downstairs just doesn't do it justice. Doesn't seem as big. Oh, in fact, we're above that big room, aren't we? The one we went in first that goes like the full length. That's under here. Ah, oh, it's all a bit confusing if I'm being honest. And I'm sorry to use a, a Doctor Who thing again, but it's like the opposite of the TARDIS. Like the TARDIS is a thing that he goes inside that looks tiny from the outside, but massive on the inside. This is the opposite. It's like, it seems like there should be more rooms somewhere. But saying that upstairs, there seems like there's loads. Because downstairs has got this big room, but upstairs hasn't. But I feel like I've been in loads of rooms up here. So where are they hiding the other ones downstairs? Oh God, there's just stuff all over. Oh, I thought there was someone making a noise in there then. But it was just me standing on stuff. All right, I don't think there's very much in this first room. Although it's a side, well, well, this is what I'm saying, look. Another decent size bedroom. And there's not much in here. Like maybe a 1950s French wardrobe thing, but that's about it. There's not very much in here, but then if we go across to the other side, there's another big bedroom here. Oh, it's not. Oh, it is a bedroom. Oh, look at it in here. This is brill. Oh, with a little uh, thing for all your letters, look. All your post. And uh, all your bits and bobs. And then this bed. I actually really love this bed. I know it's broken. But look at the back of that. It's really detailed. Really good. And then a little, what looks like Japanese piece of material. I feel like that could be actually from Japan, you know. I don't know why. Ew, a squished bug on it. Maybe that's what started COVID. But it's not a very big bed. 
Like, I think I'd only just fit in that. Like, width-wise, I know I've put on a fair few pounds, but it's still very thin to say the size of the headboard that goes with it. And then look, I could almost imagine that being outside here, you know. <gasps> it's like it, look at the lamp. Like we've just seen outside in the big doors. That looks like here. And I, I'm not just saying it either. I, I'm coming around the other side. I'm not just saying it to tie it into the house. Oh, that chair's good. That's leather. It's a leather chair. And it's quite old as well, because it's got the, I wanna say, no, it's not rattan, is it? What, what's that? It's like sacking, isn't it? Um, but yeah, look. Oh, yeah, had side bits on this, this uh, bed as well. Yeah, look. I could 100% say that was this house and get you all to believe it. It does say something down here. It says, an agreeable visitor. Um, it, it obviously looks like something English anyway. But that doesn't... That, Definitely looks like this house, 100%. I don't think there's very much in this little bathroom, apart from a massive corner bath for no real reason. Um, and then what we got over here. This place could be amazing, it really could. These are the sorts of places that goes through me when they're like this, because this is, it's not a stately home that would cost billions to do up, but it's not a tiny little house either. It's a good size. This is the sort of thing that you come to France and do up a chateau. This is it. This is what you'd want to do. I've just seen something over there that I think everybody in the 1980s had. But I'll show it to you in a minute. But yeah, the little thing for your fire. The fires all seem to have been blocked up. Oh, that little detailing is on there, look. It says something. I don't know what. I don't know if that you can pull that up, you know. I'm not going to do it because all sorts of stuff will come out of it. But I feel like you can, it's almost like a shutter that you can put up. And then look at this, a marble clock holder. Sorry, I was, <laughs> I just needed to swallow. I got excess amounts of spit. But yeah, I think it's a clock holder that. And a couple of bits of pottery. And I like this lamp stand thing. Look. It's definitely been converted at some point. I think it's quite old, that. That's really good. Now, this thing. If you were in 1980s and probably 70s Britain, you would either have one of these, the picture version, or somebody you knew would. It was just one of those things, and I had it in my bedroom. Now, this is the cross-stitch version of it, but I had the painting version of it. A little girl praying with a little dog and cat. And then there was one with a bowl blowing bubbles. There was another one. There was a few different ones to be fair. Oh, look at this. This isn't, I don't think this is hand painted. It might be. No, I don't think it is, but it's good. Um, but yeah, definitely. I knew people that had it and I had it myself. Right. Let's head up the final set of stairs and hope we're not going to get bat attacked again. Oh, hang on a minute. We've missed a whole room here. Oh, no. Oh, no, that's where we came from. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was just walking into the bedroom we've been in already. I'm thinking, what's going on here? Is there another balcony thing? It's the same one that we've already been on. Oh, God, I think I saw a bat then. Out the corner of my eye. I wonder what's in some of these boxes. I bet if you... Went through some of these things, there'd be some good stuff knocking about. Please don't get me. I just want to go up. <laughs> you fucking bastard! You just, you heard me say it, didn't you? And you thought, I'm just going to do it just to fuck you off. Oh my god. It's like. Do you know what? If you were in the 80s and you watched kids' TV in the 80s, there was a program called Nightmare, and your mates had to make you, like, walk. You had a big helmet on. You had to walk forward like three steps or whatever. I feel like this is that game, but without the helmet. You have to step, run quickly before it comes and gets you. Like, wait a second. Right, go, go, go. And you'd make your way forward. 
these stairs are a bit worrying up here. I don't know why. They're just making me a bit nervous because they're a bit creaky. And it's a long way to drop all the way down. They're very creaky. Oh, Lord. This has got to be servants up here then, hasn't it? Like I said, if, if this bit of stairs fell, woo, fucking bat. <laughs> it'd bring the whole lot down, I think. Oh, this is just like storage by the looks of things up here. But I wonder if it was for servants at one point. I can't see the signs of where there would have been beds or that's the top of one of the chimneys there, look. Let's have a look in here. Oh, look at it in here. Let me just check the floors first. Look at this. Wow, this is a, an amazing building. Look at the big beams. Huge big beams. I'm not standing on the floor over there. That, oh, in fact, I'm not going any further than here. It's all going through there, and this is bending when I stand on it. So let's move back over here. I feel like someone's been sleeping here. But yeah, look at this. The massive A-frames holding up this huge roof. I bet there's some right weight of tiles up there as well. Oh, I really want to come over here. So I want to try and work out what this table's been used for. What is that? That looks very strange. Oh, is it like a beehive? Oh, not a beehive, uh, like a bee nest thing. Can't think of the word. Yeah, what is this? What were they doing on this table? What was that for? Andy, tell me what that was for. <laughs> oh, this floor. Can't go any further. But it's like, it's got metal around the top of the table for a start, which is weird. Then it's got sort of dust and stuff, but that could have just come off the ceiling or whatever. But what is that? It's not just a lamp. There's something else to that. I don't get it. It's been doing something weird on that table. Dissecting babies or something. I don't like it. But yeah, I'm not gonna walk across half of these floorboards because they're all awful but there's a dog bowl there I can smell dog food which is weird but yeah look at the beams so good right let's head the other direction and just see if there's any more things in here that I've not seen it mostly looks like boxes that's are they cigarettes um I can't actually see anything it's any good to look at it's all just boxes and boxes of stuff of nothing really i think they're all just empty boxes now i'm not gonna lie it's a bit spooky up here and the other direction it looks very dark I, don't get me wrong if i did this it all looks pretty dark <laughs> but i don't know why that bit just looks extra dark up there i don't like it when you're in these places, on your own, and you're in the bit, like in a horror film, they always tell you not to run upstairs because you can't get anywhere. So when I'm upstairs, I just feel like I'm most at risk of something happening. You can tell, look at that old beam on the floor there and these old tiles, but yeah. I'm feeling a bit dodgy up here. There's nothing, oh, there's another door. There's nothing in there apart from the ceiling falling in. And there's another door, what's through here? And what's that say? Something 1960. That looks like French. Le Goule -le -le. It probably says, don't enter this door because you will fall through the floor. 1960 and there's 
200 dead people from doing it. Is it the same as the other end? <gasps> no, 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 Batty. I'm not coming in for long. I'm just going to quickly look and then I'll go, don't worry. Big open window there, go out of that window. Yeah, it's just the same as the other end. But this building just seems so much bigger upstairs. Makes no sense. Right, we're leaving before the bat kills us. But, yeah, really weird. Do we think there's some bricked up, like, rooms somewhere with dead children in it? I don't know what's happening with the dead children thing tonight. We've, like, been killing them on that table. Look at the sweat on my arms and my shoulders. That is horrendous, man. But, yeah, I don't know what it is. It's the, maybe this, uh, that's it, that's the title of the video. The House of the Murdered Children. <laughs> right, I'm not going to call it that because the video would definitely get demonetized if I did. So, not worth it, but we'll head back downstairs and then go and look out that front door. Right, I'm back downstairs, I don't know why, but I've gone really on edge. I think it's because I heard that noise down here. Also, look at this. I like this. This brass thing. Once again, never have it in my house. But there's something about that that's nice. I like it, the hammered brass. Right, let's go and have a look out here. I don't think there's going to be very much. But there's, there's definitely little bits of hidden stuff, look. I don't know what that is under there. Maybe a bird bath or something. Not sure. But then I'm just intrigued about this caravan. I wonder if they were going to do the place up. And we're living in this caravan. And then something happened to them as well. I just don't know. It does look like there's a way out of here. I stood on that and it felt, sounded like someone's hissed. Like there were snake under there, and I know there is snakes round here. Oh god, I'm getting attacked by moths and stuff again. But yeah, look, is it a caravan or is it a motorhome? It's a motorhome of some sort, look. Bit of a Breaking Bad style 1970s motorhome. That's cool. I don't know if I can get in it though. I'm just might just do this, look. Because there won't be very much in there, I don't think. Oh, it's a Ford. It's an old Ford. Even Oh, it's a Transit. It's even got the, it's like, the book and everything with it. That's mad. That's really weird. Those seats are crazy. They look really good. Now, I don't, I don't see any point in going in, like I said. Because it, it doesn't look like there's very much in there. But... Just a bit odd that it's sat here. Anyway, let's. Uh, oh, there's another lamp there. There's loads of them, so they must be original. Right, let's go and get my bag and see if we can get round this way. And if we can, then I'll go down. We'll go down the cellar as well, if it's safe enough to do that. Anyway. Right, I just decided to take some photos and I put my other torch behind there. Watch. not supposed to do that. It's freaking me out a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know whether I've put it on some weird setting that I didn't know existed. Why is it going dim and then bright and then going off? It's all a bit strange. Look, I've just seen this as well. Um, high class. I don't know if it's something like Cigar, off a cigar pack or something like that. I didn't really look at any of these things on here. A little bird book. And some other stuff. Anyway, I'm moving this to watch that's gone weird. I've gone so freaked out. I don't know what's wrong with me. I feel like someone's going to jump out any second. I've been in all these rooms. I know nobody's here, unless they turned up after me. 
I just feel very weird. Very weird indeed. The strange thing is as well, I don't feel any better when I've got outside. And normally, getting in the fresh air makes you feel loads better, but I don't. Right, I've just been out, I can't get out that way. It's so brambly. I tried, I almost ripped myself to shreds doing it. But then I remembered, there was a bedroom or a room that I said to you, oh, I'd rather go this way right at the beginning. And I've just come and found it. And this is this sort of solves why it doesn't seem so big downstairs because there's another big room here. So yeah, I will stuck my head in here. I didn't notice this headless Japanese lady though. That's all a bit weird. I don't know what she's made out of. She's quite good though, apart from having no head. Quite like that. And there's a little, oh, I don't think people are gonna like this. Why has it got no head? Like an head headless jester. Why has everything got his head removed? Anyway, this is what we're in here. Another bedroom. And another bedroom with flowers on the bed. It's all a bit macabre. Makes me think that someone's dead. The flowers on the bed like that. Another little sink in the corner. Look at this hoover thing though. Look at that. What is it? A fakir. <laughs> the wife shouts him to the husband. Oi, John, do I have fakir? And he'll be like, he comes running in. Definitely, darling, I thought you'd never ask. Well, fakir, get fucking oovering up, you dirty bastard. I'm so sorry. I am so, so sorry. Yeah, more books. Um, I don't know, that's a summit Roman. I don't think this one's that old. I'll have a quick look at this one and then we better get out of here. Um, 1908. It's older than the one I thought was old. Oh, that's really cool. I don't know what name that is. I can't get it to focus either. I'm not sure what that name is. Let me zoom in. Not sure, but yeah, 1908, that's cool. Right, let's uh, let's head out of here. I'm gonna have to climb out that window, which I'm not looking forward to. It's not even so much climbing out the window onto that thing. What it is, there's like a wooden thing in front of it that's all falling to pieces. And I have to put my weight on that. And that's the main dodgy bit, so. I'm just going to have to do it. Right, that's just almost killed me. Get out of there. That was hard, but the thing that you'll see at the end of the video has just come back. And I need to just get down here and have a look and get out of here before it comes again. There's, there's loads, but there's one of them round here. And you'll have to wait and see what it is. But I just need to move before it finds me. I really don't like it. It's scaring me a lot. I don't know if there's very much down here to be fair. But we'll have a look. I'm going to take my way. Yes. Right, it's all been... Oh! Just got that manky water up my legs. It's all been like breeze blocked out here. Looks like sort of recently. That's what Max said there for the murderers. But this is the original look. The original stone, how it was. But yeah, there's some, not a million year old bits of stuff in here. Well, maybe it is bigger than I thought it was. I keep thinking there's a noise behind me, but I've got a water bottle in my bag that's like glugging about. Yeah, something's been going off down here. Quite recently, maybe in the last 10 years. Oh, I hope they're not gonna put them lights in there. Horrible strip lights. But that's it, there's nothing really in here. But I need to get out of here because I don't... Do you reckon that went somewhere else? There, look. That looks like it's been blocked off. Can we see through that hole? Not a lot. 
imagine there was a dead child in there looking back at us. But some weird looking equipment. I don't really know what they are. Is that a boiler? I don't know. Water tanks, gas tanks, oil. Not sure. It does smell like that sort of thing down here. It really does. But as soon as I get out of here, I am running. And you'll see in a minute why. So I'm going to say goodbye now. And you'll see if anything happens on the way back down to the car, I will probably die and then show you. That freaked me right out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've actually really loved this one, even though it's freaked me out a lot. They're my favourites. I'm getting got by lots of little things, so I'm going. Love you all. Bye-bye. Hi, and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers in the middle of nowhere with bugs making all sorts of noises and a really spooky looking location. Now I've started outside, which makes a change, but we're heading up the drive up there. And it's all a bit freaky with the, the bugs making the noises. They're all over my face. And we're heading up towards the house. Now, this place is, you know I hate names for places, but this has been dubbed the Millionaire's Mansion. I have no idea what it's like inside. I've not seen any photos. And I don't know the backstory, but what I do know is it's supposed to be amazing. I'm not going to lie, this place is already freaking me out. And not for the reason you would think. Look at that there. And that one there. There's, there's loads of them. That is a hornet. And it is huge. Oh, Jesus. Keep the fucking... Get away from me and do not sting me, you bastard. Ah, fuck! Oh no, oh no, 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 no. It just it didn't sting me, but it hit me in the face. I didn't pick my torch back up. Oh, fucking hell. I do not want to be stung by a hornet. I really do not want to be stung by a hornet. Oh, you can see how many insects it's attracting. <gasps> Can hear, there's loads of them. They're all over the side of the building, just falling down. I'm, I'm genuinely scared to go in this door. Look at them. They're huge. If I get stung by one of them, they literally can kill your hornets. And there's fucking loads, they're all over. They're all over. I don't like this. Don't know what to do. This is suddenly not the main channel video anymore. <laughs> this is the Matt shits himself on the behind the scenes. What do I do? Do I go in? Oh, fucking hell, Matt. The thing is, the entrance is only there, but they all seem to be coming down this bit. Honestly scared to walk in here. Oh God, that was loud. What was that? Bees and wasps are not bothered about. Hornets are a whole different thing. Fucking hell, fire. There's not many things you'll find that I'm scared of, but hornets I certainly am. Can we get in there? Or is it just a cellar? Oh, fucking hell. They're all over. Every fly that comes near me, I'm shitting myself now. There's a door there, I think. Some of them are massive. Like, ridiculously big. Sorry. 
This shouldn't be about me shitting myself at wasps or hornets, but I am. Right, it's a good joke, I've just checked. That's not even the right place. I knew there were some other buildings. The right place is in front of us. Thank God for that, because I don't want to go anywhere near it. I don't know what bit's getting in the main video there, but that... <laughs> what an idiot. That's proper freaked me out. These moths are doing my head in as well on the bugs and the flies and everything. All right, we're in the right place, I think, now. <laughs>